Hello, it's lovely to be with you once again for our service of evening prayer. Today is the eve of the um, Feast of the Annunciation. Uh, so our readings are going to break with uh, the pattern we've been following uh, recently from Hebrews. Uh, and tonight our reading is from Galatians chapter 4 instead. Let's begin our service of evening prayer in the usual way. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray to the Lord. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Teach me, Lord, the way of your statutes, and I shall keep it to the end. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And so we move to our reading from Galatians chapter 4, verses 1 to 5. My point is this. Heirs, as long as they are minors, are no better than slaves, though they are the owners of all the property. But they remain under guardians and trustees until the date set by the father. So with us. While we were minors, we were enslaved to the elemental spirits of the world. But when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, in order to redeem those who were under the law, so that we might receive adoption as children. And because you are children, God has sent the Spirit of his Son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a child, and if a child, then also an heir, through God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now we turn to the Magnificat. My spirit rejoices in you, O God. My soul proclaims your greatness. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour, who has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. God has mercy on those who fear him, from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones, and lifting up the lowly. God has filled the hungry with good things, and has sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel, to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. So we come to our prayers, our prayers of personal uh, reflection and deep faith. I'm going to uh, press the pause button. This will also, if you press your pause button, 
allow us to come back at exactly the same moment when we unpause. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Now we're going to use the Collect of the Week, which is that of Passion Tide. Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered and saved the world. Grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross we may triumph in the power of his victory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Eternal God, source of all holy desires, all good counsels and all just works, Give your servants that peace which the world cannot give, that we may willingly obey your commandments, and that, free from the fear of our enemies, we may pass our time in rest and quietness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Creator of the universe, watch over us and keep us in the light of your presence. Let our praise continually blend with that of all creation, and bring us with all for whom we pray the eternal joys which you promise in your love. Through Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you for being with me for this service of evening prayer. Um, I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye for now.